Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Rob Schofield and Anna Bevan Gravely, a new program, Teach NC, is designed to attract teachers to our classrooms so as to fill a teacher shortage in our state. But there's some controversy about just how serious a teacher shortage we have. Some contend we've got a large number of te uh, teachers who've been in the classroom more than 25 years and are going to retire soon. Others say this is a normal process that we're experiencing. There's no real big shortage here. Anna Bevan, your parents were in education. Tell us from your perspective, uh, we got a real teacher shortage? Well, I think there's a little bit of truth in everything. Um, but the, the biggest thing that I see is you're dealing with an older demographic who would go into teaching and stay there for a really long time. And now you've got millennials and Generation Z who rarely stay in the same job for more than three years. So it's not necessarily that there, that there is like an overall crisis of people being interested in the role of teaching, but the, the generation is different. Rob, you've written about this. Mm -hmm. How big a problem is this teacher shortage? It is a big problem. It's a big problem, especially in rural areas where we just, they don't have the money because the states cut funding so the locals in the poor rural can't counties pay supplements. can't pay the supplements. It's a problem in urban areas for STEM subjects. They still have trouble attracting good teachers and special ed teachers. My wife's a retired special ed teacher. I know that they'd love for her to come back out of retirement. They're trying to recruit people. Um, but the big thing, and it actually refers to it, is the fact that there is a marketplace out there that attracts young people to come work in other jobs. And when it comes to our salaries in North Carolina, when you compare North Carolina to other states, we're actually 48th in the country when it comes to how they compare to salaries in the, in the private sector for other types of jobs. It's not surprising that people stay for a couple of years. They can make so much more. In the re so even though maybe as, as it goes with absolute numbers when you look at it on an annual on a national basis we might be higher up when you compare to what people can make in the private sector in North Carolina we're 48th that's why teachers don't stay. Well that's the way it is in all public sector for that standpoint. But, but yes indeed that's part of the problem that's why we need to invest so, more So resources. this program Teach and See is going to begin going into the middle grades and high schools uh, and sending messages to these young people hey there's a career here it's a good career uh, there is a, a, a reward from a standpoint of benefits and so forth like that. Uh, you ought to consider doing this. How effective do you think that's going to be? Um, I think it will be very helpful for, for students to, to see a different perspective of teaching. Than, but a lot of people love their teacher. Like that's one thing that across the board, students love their teacher. They can cite a teacher that's changed their life or invested in them when when nobody else did. And, I mean, there's a reason why there are tons of tons of movies about the concept. Um, but I think that's not really going to change the gem the generation um, makeup and the way that that we approach. And I say we because I am a millennial. The way that we approach jobs and careers. It's got to be in consideration here. Yeah. But uh, go ahead. Well, I just don't think a website's going to make that much difference. It's a nice, I mean, this Teach NC thing's nice as far as it goes. You know, for a long time in North Carolina, the perception has been that the legislature and that state leaders have had it in for the teaching profession. They tried to take away their benefits, their salaries. They attacked the NCAE and organizing. So for a long time, there's been this message. I mean, people were leaving the uh, education schools in droves because they felt like the profession was under attack. So that's nice. It'd be nice to have a different approach to that. But Ultimately, it's going to come down to whether we put our money where our mouth is. If we but pay teachers, but it's got to be more than just money. Your 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 folks stayed in education their whole careers. For for the most part, yeah. Um, and I do think that it is definitely more than than money sure. um, scenario. But this is not just a North Carolina problem. There that report, um, it was also a national problem. So it's a national conversation about adjusting to to who we are now. Like I, I keep coming back to this because education is really hard to change. Um, the education model is is slow to move. It's like turning a giant ship. Um, but people sometimes are, it doesn't even turn. Correct, correct. <laughs> but people are changing, and what stimulates us and what excites us, um, it changes all the time. And education needs to to catch up. But to. it's the single most important function of of our government, of our state government, for no sure. Question. And so we have and got, we spend fifty seven cents of every tax dollar. And it dollar. probably ought to be a lot higher than that. Yeah. So far as it goes. Um, you know, we, we went on the air with this show September 8th of 1998. Mm -hmm. I think that was one of the first topics we talked about. 21 and a half years later, we are mm -hmm. still talking so about this. So the ship's this. not turning, the is what you're telling me. That's yeah, what I was trying to times, say. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.